airport, Frisbee is doing really well in his recovery. But because of everything that Frisbee and I went through over this last week, I really started thinking about just vital signs in general on horses. And someone had left me a comment saying, I should do a video on how to check vital signs on your horse. And I thought, you know what? That is a fabulous idea. So that's what we're gonna do today. Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Now, hopefully you notice that there's no clicking now in my background. I shut off the fence charger because someone made a comment that it was really annoying him. So I shut down the fence charger, which is okay because the horses are both still locked up for the morning. Is that better? So when it comes to vital signs for your horses, there's like three major ones that you really need to know how to do for your horse. That is temperature, pulse, and respirations. Knowing how to check these three vital signs on your horses is pretty important for us to be able to do as horse owners. Taking a temperature isn't that hard, can be a little bit challenging because you will be taking your horse's temperature rectally. There's not really any other way to do it. Respirations is probably the easiest one that I can think of because you can literally just put your hand or your ear next to your horse's nose and just listen or feel for how many times he's breathing out. Those are what respirations are. And the pulse is probably my favorite vital sign to take on my horse because it just sounds so cool. To check your horse's pulse, you will need a stethoscope to make it easy, but it just sounds so cool. You just put your stethoscope up, like right behind his front leg, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But it just sounds so cool because it's just like boom, boom. Ooh, that's actually too fast. It won't go that fast. If it does, that could be bad. But it just sounds really, really cool to hear your horse's heartbeat. In order to check your horse's vital signs, to make it easier on you and your horse when you're checking their vital signs, there's three things you're gonna need. Just three. It's like we have three vital signs. We have three things that we're gonna need. The first thing I would recommend that you have is a stethoscope. And this stethoscope isn't anything fancy. It's a sprig style stethoscope. I actually got this from my mom. She was a cardiac nurse for a very long time. So I'm pretty sure this is a good stethoscope to listen to my horse's heart, lungs, whatever, gut sounds too, whatever I want. But I was doing an Amazon search and I will leave a link in the description box below. You can get this style of stethoscope for $12.99 on Amazon. I think the reason I like the Sprague style, so it has two tubes. So it's not the single tube type stethoscope, it's got two. And I don't have the best hearing in the world, so this style works really well for me to be able to hear clearly. And at 13 bucks, it's a really good deal and something you should have in your first aid kit if you have a horse. The second thing that you're going to need to check your horse's vital signs is a thermometer. And this is a digital thermometer. It costs about $7 on Amazon. It beeps when you turn it on, and when it's ready, it beeps again. These are so handy to have, and it makes taking your horse's temperature so much easier because the old style mercury thermometers, number one, they're dangerous. It's got mercury in it, but they're so hard to read. This. You can just read it on the display. It's really easy. Kind of foolproof. The one thing you will want to add to your thermometer is a string. Do you know why you want to add a string to your thermometer? When you put this up your horse's rectum, sometimes they can kind of suck it in. So you put it in his butt and it goes and then you got to call the vet because now you have a problem because you lost your thermometer in your horse's rectum. Not a good thing to have happen. So you can prevent that simply by tying a ribbon or a string onto the end of your thermometer so you don't lose it. And one more thing that you'll need when you're using a digital thermometer, it'll make it a lot easier on your horse, you need some type of a lubricant. Right now I happen to have coconut oil. I have Vaseline somewhere, I just don't know where it is because I cleaned everything out of the barn getting ready for winter. But coconut oil acts as a lubricant too and it won't hurt your horse. So we're gonna use coconut oil when we check Frisbee's temperature. 
And the last thing that you're going to need when you check your horse's vital signs is a watch. I just use my Fitbit. It has a stopwatch action on it, so I can use that as a timer. Or if you have a watch with a second hand that works too, I just like my Fitbit because the screen lights up and it makes it easier to see what it says. Okay, so we know what we're gonna need to check our horse's vital signs. We have the equipment, so now let's actually go do it. So you can see how easy it is and if you've never checked your horse's temperature, pulse, respiration, or gut sounds, this will show you how you can do it. So let's go get our model, who is Frisbee, and let's check the vital signs. So first we're gonna check respirations, and you can put your hand up to your horse's nose, and then you're going to time it for one full minute. Normal respirations for an adult horse is between eight and 12 breaths per minute. or you can use your stethoscope too. It makes it a little bit easier to hear the breath sounds coming out if you can't feel it on the back of your hand. And make sure to give him a pat and let him know he's been a good boy when he participates in this. To listen to your horse's gut sounds, what you want to hear is the roar, roar, roar of his tummy. You'll hear different noises. But you want to listen in different areas on his belly. Typically it's like four different areas on each side of your horse's belly and they will sound different in each quadrant of his tummy or his abdomen. To listen to your horse's heart, you're going to get on his left side and right behind his leg, you're going to place the stethoscope. It will be very deep, but it sounds really cool. An adult horse's normal heart rate is 32 to 36 beats per minute, and you wanna time it for one full minute when you're checking his heart rate. To check your horse's temperature, you're going to need a digital thermometer and a lubricant. I was able to find my Vaseline. So you're going to put Vaseline all over the end of the thermometer and then standing on the side of your horse, you don't want to get kicked, you're going to slowly insert the thermometer into his rectum. I prefer to hold on to the thermometer so it doesn't get sucked in. Once it's done, take it out, give your horse a pat and tell him he was a good boy and then you can read your horse's temperature on the thermometer. Okay, so that was pretty fun. Frisbee was a pretty good patient, even though I've been doing this to him a lot. But the more you do this, the more you practice at checking your horse's temperature, pulse, respiration, all of their vital signs, the better you will be at it. And in case of an emergency, you'll have a lot of practice and you'll know how to do it. Just like anything else, the more we do it, the better we get. And it would just really suck to have an emergency pop up and you're trying to figure out how to check your horse's pulse. So if you've never done it before, it's really a good idea while your horse is healthy to learn how to do this stuff. And then it also gets your horse used to you using these different tools around them so that if something happens, your horse is used to it. You're not going to freak him out. He's not going to spook because you've already been doing this with him. I hope you found this video useful today and hopefully it gives you some little tips and tricks and shows you how you too can check your horse's vital signs. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture, at the end of this video and you can subscribe to my channel and get all my newest and latest and greatest videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride. Thank you.